Summer is fully blown in the UK, so a wardrobe fit for the heat is needed. I'm going to cover some elements that will help you draw some inspirations for your own fit. As always, I aim to build around comfort, so let's just get into it. To start things off, we have the t-shirts and shorts combo. Tried and tested, it stands against the test of time, evolving as trends go on. It is the base for so many summer outfits, so you can add other pieces to add detail and elevate the overall fit. Relaxed fits are the current trend, so you don't want to wear anything that's too fitted. And this is ideal because the more space you have in your clothes, the more air gets in, so there's more airflow which helps you to remain cooler. One of the best things about the t-shirts and shorts combo is that you don't necessarily have to buy new shirts because shirts from other seasons can easily move into your summer wardrobe if they're essential. That means you can save some money. So luckily for you, if you did build your wardrobe around core essentials, then you can easily move your blank essential t-shirts to your summer wardrobe. But t-shirts and shorts can be a bit plain, so you might want to go out and buy some graphic t-shirts because it adds a bit more detail to your overall fit. And like I said before, graphic t-shirts are a great way to express yourself because there's so many designs to choose from and you can spend hours looking for a design that you like. A great alternative to a graphic t-shirt is football jerseys and I think they're great because they go really well with jorts. So since it is summer, it is really, really hot. And when it's over 24 degrees Celsius, I will not put myself through the pain of wearing long leg pants because my legs will overheat. So shorts for me is a must. And the great thing about shorts is that they come in so many different types, styles and materials that depending on what you decide on, you can go for different aesthetics. This year, you really want to go for a relaxed short. Nothing skinny, nothing tight on your legs, it has to be relaxed. And another thing to keep in mind is that jorts or jean shorts have been rising in popularity, which I think is a bit weird because I always considered jean shorts as a staple, but maybe it's the relaxed fit jorts which are, you know, really trending this year. And what I mean by that is, skater jean shorts. So an example of this would be the Carhartt Brandon shorts or the weekday Galaxy shorts. And of course you don't have to go for jean shorts if that's not the way you roll. You can always wear cargo shorts or linen shorts or chino shorts, but just make sure that they're relaxed and not skinny. So I said that shirts and shorts are the base of so many summer outfits and I do mean that because if you just throw it over a button t-shirt, you've just got yourself another outfit. And the great thing about button t-shirts is that they allow you to express yourself in so many different ways because they come in so many different sizes, patterns, types and fits. But as always, everybody wants to go for the boxy fit this year, so I don't think that that's something you can compromise, but you can compromise on other things such as the pattern and the colour. Personally, I really like flowery shirts or block colours like the one I'm wearing, so there's so many options you can choose from. For example, you can wear shirts with a pocket, or no pocket, it's up to you. And of course, another thing that's really good about the button shirts is that you can butter them or unbutter them, which sounds really, really obvious, but they do give two different looks. When you button it up, it makes you look a bit more smart and a bit more well put together. I don't really want to say it that way, but you do look a bit more well put together when you have this shirt and button up, you just look a bit smarter, but you can obviously unbutton it and look a bit more relaxed, casual. And when you do unbutton your shirt, it gives an opportunity for you to show another detail to your whole outfit because you can either wear a t-shirt underneath or a vest underneath. And if you do wear a vest, you can wear different textures of vests. Or if you wear a t-shirt underneath, you can wear a plain t-shirt to show a clean look, or you can wear a t-shirt that has a graphic on it which gives a more chilled look, a bit more of an expression of what you like. So because of all these combinations that you can go for, you know, the combinations are endless and you can express yourself as well as you want. And depending on what you choose, you can always stay relaxed at the same time, which is something that I always go for. Comfort over feeling horrible in the heat. And because I am talking about button shirts, I can't go and pass this by and not talk about it. And it's crochet shirts. They are a great way to look more smart and actually be a lot cooler because of how it's built. Because compared to a regular button shirt, it has a lot more holes in it, so air flows a lot better. And because you can actually see through these shirts, you can wear a textured vest underneath, which again adds another great element to the overall outfit. But of course, you don't have to wear crochet shirts if you don't want to. Personally, I think that they look really cool, but I do prefer relaxed linen viscose short of shirts a lot more because of the way they flow. So whilst we're on the topic of materials, I just want to move on to my next point, which is about linen. As you guys know, I wear a lot of streetwear clothes, so a lot of cotton. So I haven't been thinking about linen at all over the past few years. 
But as you know, I've been trying to explore more styles, more type of materials and linen coming into my radar has finally happened. Now linen is great for when you want to go for a smarter aesthetic because of how it looks and how flowy it is, especially when you go for a relaxed aesthetic. And it feels great in the summer because of how much airflow it allows. And I never really thought about this before, but linen really gives off big holiday vibes, especially when you wear a full suit of linen. Now you don't have to wear exactly the same colour linen for top and bottom, but you know, when you do, it looks a bit more coordinated. Some people might dig that, some people might not. But if you do go for linen, I'd say to go for lighter earthy tones because that way you can mix and match with other pieces very easily. So for example, if I don't want to wear matching linen shorts with my matching linen top, I will just wear jean shorts with my linen top or I'll just wear a different button top with my linen shorts. And I think both look really good. So just to summarize that point a little bit more clearly, you want light earthy tones because they are more versatile, which will allow your wardrobe to be a lot more flexible so you can make more outfits. Okay, so I've touched upon t-shirts and shorts, but what about long pants? And I know I said that I do not want to wear hot pants during the summer because I don't want my legs to overheat which eventually will make me overheat everywhere else. But there are times when in the summer there is some mercy and it's just not blazing heat. And during those times, during those cooler temperatures, you can wear longer pants. So think of the outfit that you're wearing for the summer, which could be t-shirt, overshirt, shorts. And now imagine that they're jean shorts. Now instead of wearing jean shorts, wear jeans. And of course, relaxed jeans are what you want to wear now, so just swap for that. And now because you just swapped the shorts for their jean equivalent, you still have that summery look, which is really ideal. So you don't really need to put too much thought into it if you want to wear pants during the summer. So just to quickly summarize, if you have an outfit with jean shorts, just wear the equivalent, but jeans. If you have an outfit with linen shorts, just swap out the linen shorts for linen pants. And if you have chino shorts, just swap them out for the equivalent chino. But most of the time, I think that they're very versatile. So if you have a versatile wardrobe, you don't actually have to swap for the equivalent longer version. You can swap your linen shorts to your jeans and most of the time it will still work, especially if you have a versatile wardrobe to begin with. I overheat really easily during the summer, so I have to do everything that I can to keep myself cool and comfortable and one way to do that is to wear suitable footwear. An example of this would be sandals and running trainers. So for sandals, I will typically wear the Birkenstock Arizonas which I rave about all the time. They're super comfortable once you break them in and because they are open toed, they give you a lot of airflow and because your feet are cool, hopefully the rest of your body will stay cool as well. An alternative would be the Bostons, which look really cool and really summery and have a really nice aesthetic. But I would say that the Arizonas are better because they are open toed in comparison. Now for the running trainer, recently I picked up these ASIC Gel Kyno 14s, which are really nice. I really like the design, the colorway, and they are overall very comfortable. So I think these are a very good choice for the summer. And the great thing about running shoes is that they come in so many colors, varieties, shapes, and designs. So there's just so many to choose from. So I believe that there's always gonna be one pair out there for you, even if you don't like the vibe of running trainers. Despite this, you don't have to dump your previous rotation of trainers. I'll still be wearing my Converse's, I'll still be wearing my Air Forces. They are still within my current rotations. I just got these as an option to be more comfortable during the summer. Lastly, I want to touch upon accessories and there's just so many accessories that I can touch upon but to keep this video nice and neat I'm just going to talk about three and I'm just going to talk about them briefly. First of all sunglasses. I think sunglasses are an essential for the summer since they protect your eyes against the blazing sun and when you do buy sunglasses there's just so many options to choose from so I'd say to go for something that you like and that you know you will wear season to season year to year. So I have one pair that I've been wearing for the last five six years years and I don't plan to get any other pair but if you are a bit confused about what pair to go for I'd say to go for the rectangle sort of shape that's been very popular recently I think these are very generic sunglasses despite being trendy at the moment I think that you can wear them year on year and you'll still look stylish Next, I want to talk about caps and I know the summer is a great time for you to let your hair out and not wear a cap, but some people might like to wear caps and I think they're again very viable during the summer. It might overheat your head a bit, but it does provide a bit of shade for your face. So if you want to wear caps, then you can do. I have realized that recently the two-tone mesh caps 
that have a vintage design in the front are really trendy. So if you want to go with something like that, I think caps are still a good option to elevate your outfit for the days when you want to wear one, maybe because it goes with the outfit or you just want to cover your messy hair. So the last accessory I want to talk about are bags. Now bags are always a good way to elevate your outfit and for the summer, the way to elevate it and give it a more summery look, a more rounded summery look, I would say are tote bags or sling bags. Either are fine, but I think that if you have a tote bag lying around, because generally we have tote bags lying around these days, it's a really good option to elevate your outfit. I don't know what about tote bags give a summery feel, but when you just add it to a summery outfit, it somehow makes it even more summery. So if you want to elevate your outfit and you don't know what's missing, try a tote bag because they can work. And it doesn't have to be a designer tote bag because I don't even own a designer tote bag. I just have this tote bag lying around. So yep, yeah, tote bags this year, sling bags this year, go for it. So these are just some ideas and thoughts that I've had about summer fashion this year. Do you think I've covered them all? Have I missed something? Do you agree with something? Or is there something so key that you can't believe I missed out? Please let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed watching this video and thought it was interesting, then please leave a like on it because it does help the channel to grow. And if you do want more content similar to this, then please hit the subscribe button. And before I end this video off, I just want to say that anything that I've said in this video, you don't have to follow them. They're just my thoughts and opinions. Wear what you like, be comfortable in your own skin, and be happy just wearing what you want to wear. That's the most important thing. So with that, I just want to thank you all for watching this video and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Peace.